Good evening, guys, and we're now on Dai Hashong. So, my thought for tonight is look good to feel good. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'll just like to flex my Wunsu Senpai for giving me this outfit. Oshare. Okay, so we'll talk about Kaigo Hoken. So last night, um, Dai Hasho was about insurances, right? And we were able to talk about um, Nenkin Hoken and Irio Hoken. So and then we uh, talked a little about um, Rodo Sha Sai Gai Hosho Hoken and Koyo Hoken. So there isn't really much. We won't delve deeper into those topics. So this one, Kaigo Hoken. So what about these insurance? Right. So, what is it? So, as, as I understand, Kaigo Hoken is an insurance for the elderly. Um, how do you, um, how do you sleep? How do you, um, Describe or um, put the meaning to elderly. So the they are people sixty five years old and above. So this kaigo hoken is for those people for our elderly, our respected elderly people, and um, even if you're not yet sixty five years old but you're 40 years old to 64 years old and unfortunately you develop aging related um, diseases then you can also avail this type of insurance here in Japan Kaigo Hoken Okay, so let's uh, talk about a little of the history So Kaigo Hoken no Shakaika What is this? So in the book it's called Shakai mina de kai go sasayo to you can gai. So it's a mentality, it's a thinking, and uh, on supporting or caring for our elderly. So that was in 1997. Kai go hoken ho started, they started formulating. Kaigo Hoken Ho. So what happened the years before that? If you can remember our past lesson on the history of Japan's population, during the year 1994, um, Japan became an aging population. Right? So 1994. And they have two things of ways on how to care for their elderly. So, on the year 2000, Kaigo Hoken no Sabiso ga hajimarimashita. So that's when the service actually um, became available to the public, to the people, to the residents. Okay. So it took three years for the Kaigo Hoken Ho to. Um, Beast. So, Kaigo Hoken Ho Dai Ichi Jo Mokuteki. So, what is the purpose of the Kaigo Hoken Ho? So, this is if you read the book, it's about respect, it's about songen, it's about, um, yeah, 
I think and there are other things as well services for the happiness and the uh, preservation of health chatra chatra so my sensei also told me to memorize this one word for word but I haven't done it yet you guys also should bear the burden with me what am I thinking? what am I saying? so it is building a society to for everyone to work together in supporting our elderly yeah. for um jiritsu e jiritsu is um jiritsu what's the english term for that okay so that was the mokoteki of the kaigo hokenho dai ichi and now we'll talk about Hokenja to hi Hokenja. So Hokenja is the body of the government or something that receives the payment, right? And these are also the body that regulates Kaigo no Sabisu. So let's see here. Uh, Hokensha. Kaigo hoke no shigoto ga omako iku yo ni shimasu. Kaigo insurance, uh, care insurance um, services is properly rendered to the public. So they regulate that one. Hoke no yo atsumate hoken shu wo kurimasu. So they collect. Um, Insu the insurance payment and they're also the ones who will give the um, certificate for those qualified to receive the Kaigo Hoken services and Yokaigo uh, yo Ninte Yoshimas. So Yokaigo Ninte is the degree degree of services needed for the people okay so here in Japan the Hoken Sha are Shichoson, Tokobetsuku, Ko Ikirengo, Ichibu, Jimu Kumiai so Tokobetsuku wa Tokyo no Nijusan no Ku no Koto da yo and um Ko Ikirengo, so these are Chisai Shichoson. Okay. So Shichoson, they group together, small Shichoson, and then they form a group Ko Ikirengo or Ichibu Jimukumiai. So those are our Hoken Sha. And our Hokenja, the pays the people who pay and receive the services. Those are the Ihokenja. I'm going to erase this one. So let's write it down. Ihokenja. I will write it. Hi ho kenja. So we have two hi ho kenja, two types, two categories. Hokenja. This is pronounced as ja and not sha. Okay. So we have 
Dai Ichi Go And then Danna Dai Nigo Okay, so Dai Ichi Go and then the Dai Nigo Categories, okay? Categories, don't forget Two So first is the Dai Ichi Go so these are the people. Okay, so while I'm writing, I'm gonna say, um, is here in the book so Daichi Go these these people are those aged um, 65 years old and above so the qualification is just the age and nothing more nothing less so if you are 65 years old and above, then you are uh, under the Kaigo Hoken, you are a Daiichigo Hi Hokenja. So um, and under this Daiichigo Hi Hokenja, we have two um, classifications. This is actually a difference on where they pay, how much salary they have, um, or how much um, Retirement insurance they receive per year. Okay, and then their line of work. Line of work? No, not really. Okay, erase, erase that one. So, yeah, we have two types under Daiichi Go. So, two types of 65 years old and above. One is the Tokubetsu. Shu Shu Shou Shu I've written it Tokobetsu Shou Shu Chou Shu Toko Chou 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 Shu It's Ten Biki Ten Biki So it's directly deducted from their salary not salary retirement retirement insurance Okay. So, um, 
um, 65 years old and above. So for this um, insurance, uh, Shichoson ni Halaimas. So it's paid um, to the Shichoson. And Ichinen ni Nenki no Hachi, Aju Hachi man yen ijo morate rushtoa. Nenki no moro toki ni hikaremas. Ten biki. So it's being automatically deducted from their um, Nenkin. Nenkin. And from their um, yearly, yearly salary. So the other one is Fucho a uh, Futsu Cho Shu. Futsu Cho Shu. You can pay it in the Kombini or the bank. So that's how they pay their kaigo hokken. So, um, yeah. So before they reach this um, age, they're actually um, required. Required, everyone's required to pay kaigo um, hokken so that they will be able to receive insurances when they get old so on what age I will tell it later so now we'll talk about dainigo dainigo hi hokenja the piece or the ones can avail of the services So the Dainigo Hihokenja pays or users of the services. Um, these are 40 years old uh, up to 64 years old. So they're not yet elderly because elderly as we said is at 65 years old. Kore uh, Koreisha so they're not yet elderly, but they are required to pay Kaigo Hoken. Why? Because these people, 40 years old up to 64 years old, just in case if they reach this age and they develop aging related diseases, they can avail of the services here in Kaigo Hokkien. So they don't have to worry about um, where can they go to, what should they do, how did they, how can they live if they cannot anymore work because of aging related diseases. So these can or insurance would be able to help them so that's why in Japan when you reach 40 years old it is a must that you pay your kaigo hoken because if you don't pay you don't have any insurance so you really have to pay to be able to get the insurance and you will be able to enjoy the services 
so um you remember ilio hoken health insurance so you have the you have this insurance when you reach 20 years old right 20 years old or when you're self sufficient you have the you're working you have this ilio hoken you pay it so when you reach 40 years old your ilio hoken will go up because this kaigo hoken will add up to your ilio hoken do you get it you don't get it you get it when you're 64 years old you have the area again and when you reach 65 years old you can either have your insurances um, paid um, automatically with your Ninkin or with your yearly um, retirement insurance, uh, insurance, or you can pay it in combini. Did I got it correctly, or is it confusing? So where? That's right. Where to? Okay. So, what's the difference if we go to Daihasho? What's the difference between Nenkin? Nen. Uh, Nenkin. Hiho Kenja. Daichigo. For Nenkin. So I'm doing the differentiation because of I've said I'm confused on this topic. So this is how I differentiate. Kaigo, make sure you read it well if it's a Kaigo Hoken or if it's a Nenkin Hoken. Kaigo hi Hokenja or Nenkin hi Hokenja. So Nenkin hi Hokenja Dai go those are people having their own businesses farmers fishermen and they pay it um voluntarily or it's not like automatically deducted to their salary because um they have their own business right so uh it really cannot be deducted from their salary salary and the Dainigo, uh, so for this one, let's go back again, chapter 7. So for those people having their own businesses, they pay it, uh, their Nenkin Hoken, in Shich at the Shichosan. Okay. So for the Dainigo, Nenkin Hihokensha. These are the people having employees. These are employees. And their Nenkin Hoken is directly, is automatically deducted from their salaries. If you can see your salary, 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 slip, payment up, salary, slip, 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 salary, slip. You'll see there your Nenkin Hoken, but I don't really look at mine because it's really so takai. And there's also a third uh, Hoken, Hihokenja, right, for Nenkin Hoken. So the third Hihokenja, Dai Sango, these are the spouses or below 18 years old children of these um hoke, uh, hi hokenja 
these are the dependents. Yeah, that's the term dependents. Okay, so now please don't um, confuse Kaigo Hoken and Nenkin Hoken, the Hokenja. So the next we'll talk about Hokensho. So Hokensho that is just a certificate received from Shichosong given to 65 years old and above. So this is automatically given. When when you reach 65 years old you will receive this certificate. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. So you will receive this certificate of, um, what is this? Um, this is a certificate to, um, this is a certificate needed for you to avail of the Kaigo Hoken services. So if you don't have this, you will not be able to use Kaigo Hoken services. Let's go to this one. Kaigo Hoken no Shiku. It's really a mess, my book. Page 80. So for this one, we have the Hokenja, right? I mean Hokensha, not Ja. Hoken sha. Hoken sha. He hoken ja. Sabisu jigyo sha. Okay, so let's differentiate them. Hoken sha, this is your shichosan, nado. We have tokobetsuku. We have the, what else? There were two other small shichosan that group themselves. So those are Hoken Sha. He Hokenja, the people. The Sabisu Jigyosha. These are your facilities. Facilities, yeah. Sabisu Jigyosha. <laughs> okay, so first from the which is step one. Step one, so the Hoken Sha, they do their work. Make sure Sabiso Jigyo Sha do their work. Make sure the Hoken Sha pays their, collect, they collect the payments of the Hiho Kenja. And they do the um, Yokai Go Nintei. Uh, what level of kaigo do you need? Do this a uh, person needs? So they do that um, tests or evaluation. Okay. So first, I don't see here. I uh, hear kaigo nintesh ninte hokensho no kofu. What? It's not first. First, the Hokensha will send the 65 years old and above Hokensho. But if you're not yet 64 years, I mean, if you're not yet 65 years old, so you belong to the Dainigo Hi Hokenja, you don't have the Hokensho, right? Because you're not yet 65 years old. So what do you do if you want to avail the services? We'll talk about it later. First, we'll go to with the Daichigo Hihokenja, the 65 years old and above. 
so these are the people no other requirements needed just your age and then the token show okay so you will need to undergo the evaluation of what level of care do you need kai go ninte so what level do you need and from there you will be able to use the services okay so for example if the 65 year old page uh Ryosha, um goes to your facility um decides to if if a 65 years old is being evaluated for like let's try the highest level of care in five if they need level five if the evaluation uh, result is level five so um, what services would they use there are different types of sabi suji gyosha nanto 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 my my sensei would ask me that nanto 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 and i say and i'll just reply i forgot <laughs> okay so it would it would depend on the family or the the person his or himself what services would he want or she wants according to the level of care the evaluation for level of care so for example if this 65 years old let's say um this one i think this is suzuki song if this if these hiho kenja if suzuki song um is level five and then the facility that he chose or the family chooses example your facility whatever the type of facility you have or you're working at so per month per month um there's a rate example level five is the most expensive there's a rate for that so level five is the most expensive and then the hokensha will pay your facility this is for example um ichiman for example however for a swap my sensei showed me level five for um care that's actually like sanju mang yeah an example sanju mang per month so yeah the hokensha which is the shichoson toka etc tokobetsuko chuchu and the other two will pay your facility the 30 man and then so from there it's uh, the insurance is not uh, there's a percentage that the person will have to shoulder right it can either be um, 10 percent 20 percent or 30 percent depending if you are rich then i'm sorry if you're rich then you will be shouldering 30 percent of the sanjuma so this suzuki uh, suzuki san will have to pay 10 percent of the um 
I mean, if Suzuki-san is a rich person, he will shoulder 30%. If he is um, um, actually, there's a classification for that. Even if you're 65 years old and above, however you're rich, then it can either be 20% or 30%. However, for like ordinary, just 10%. So 10% of Sanjuma. So that's like Ichimang. I mean Sanmang. Is that correct? So Sanmang. So Suzuki-san will have to pay Sanmang to the Sicho song. Or Tokobetsuku. And then the Hokan Sha will pay the full amount to the facility. So the uh, Suzuki san will not pay to the facility, but he will pay the 10% to the Hokan Sha. Okay. So now let's go to the Dainigo Hi Hokanja. These are 40 years old up to 64 years old so for you to be able to avail the services since you don't have the hiho kensho because you're not six yet 65 years old you have to be diagnosed with um 16 specifically one of these 16 diseases related to aging so you need to have like the doctor certificate for that so let's read what are these 16 tokote uh, shippe that's what's the term tokote shippe so we have ganmaki hinishuku sei sokusaku kokasho koji jintai kokasho just read it guys and try if you can do it Hayakuchi. <laughs> okay just um Oh my god, I'm so wrong. What is this? What is this one? So, I thought the uh, Hiho Kenja will pay here the 10% how come it's here also I'll have to ask my sensei about that which is which if you know guys which is which please do comment in the comment section Let's work together and help each other. So I'm now almost 40 minutes. I'll have to say goodbye. Bye. And again, look good to feel good.